First segment of Market Day, Julia Lee from Bell Direct, and of course Michael McCarthy from CMC Market Stockbroking. Julia, maybe to you first. What did you make of the session? A bit of a roller coaster. James, this week so far has been pretty good, and that's because we haven't really seen those macro issues rearing their ugly head. Unfortunately, that really changed today, and around the region we saw the effects of that. If we have a look at the Australian share market, some fantastic leads today. We saw the Dow Jones Industrial Average up a massive 322 points, and indeed the Australian market at one point up by more than 1.5%, but we managed to give up all of those gains and actually finish in the red down by 0.1%. Now, what really did turn the market was Moody's coming out to downgrade Japan's self-sovereign debt from a double A3 down to a double A2 rating. We also saw some uh, comments coming through from Moody's vice president uh, talking about the U.S. Uh, position that it had to somehow cut its fiscal debt uh, to be able to uh, avoid a downgrade. So once again, those sovereign debt issues once again in the spotlight, mainly Japan in the region, causing markets to be lower. Of course, earnings season very much in focus today as well. But altogether, we saw very much a risk off day by the end of the session. And that is a selling in our growth sectors, the energy sector, the material sector, the industrial sector, as well as the financial sector. And of course, the U.S. futures also pointing to a lower session tonight. My report, some, some big numbers coming out today, Julia Lee, and look, not much time in terms of reaction, but to one of the biggest, in fact, if not historical biggest, uh, BHP Billiton, uh, it's a cash machine. Absolutely. We've seen BHP Billiton's result just come out. And if we have a look at uh, what our expectations were, it was for underlying profit of 22.1 billion US dollars. If we strip out the exceptionals, we got a number of 21.7 billion dollars. So just slightly below our expectations, but not by much. And if we break it down into the major categories and have a look at EBIT earnings before interest and tax, iron ore actually beat. We were expecting to see a result of about 13.1 billion. It came in at 13.3 billion so a small beat there petroleum also beating it came in at 6.3 billion we were expecting to see 6 billion but both base metals and coking coal a little bit off our estimates so if we have a look at base metals we were expecting to see 7.1 billion we saw 6.7 billion dollars there in EBIT and if we have a look at coking coal we were expecting to see 2.9 billion and we saw 2.7 billion so a small miss in the last two categories but not by much altogether a very solid result it's interesting to see the FX effect as well mm. we did see the foreign exchange movements and that managed to uh, slide um, $3.2 billion off EBIT as well. And of course, the talk about costs going up, um, no capital expenditure, uh, no capital management, no new capital management measures uh, uh, announced today. But if we have a look at the dividend, that actually beat our expectations, going up to 55 cents. We were expecting 48 cents. And that's actually a 22% increase from the previous corresponding period. So increasing the dividend, probably looking at acquisitions in terms of opportunities and an expenditure, I think, of about $80 billion over the next five years. The, um, a headline net profit figure down 42%, but considering everything that they've uh, faced, you'd have to, you'd have to think a pretty good number. Well, Suncorp Metway is a company where where we're used to a bit of underperformance but I guess it has been a difficult year because of the spate of natural disasters that we've seen yet despite that we have seen underlying profit come in ahead of expectations that dividend payment as well ahead of expectations in fact if we have a look at what Suncorp's been able to do is that it's been able to pass on the increase that we've seen in terms of insurance costs in the form of an increase in insurance premiums so Suncorp met way out with a better than expected result and the share price reflecting that today up by 5.6 percent Michael.